Hey guys, welcome to my next series. This is Until Dawn. Uh, I know I said I wanted to do Yakuza 0, but I thought I would squeeze this in before. This is not that long of a game. If you've ever played Until Dawn or seen it, um, it can easily be beaten in like a day or two. Um, I have played this game once before and I managed to save everyone. I thought it would be interesting to replay this game, but have everyone get killed. Um, I know it doesn't sound uh, the best, but I thought it would be um, fun and interesting. Um, I can't remember if I have mentioned this before. I think I have, but I have a goal set for myself where I want to play all the games I have in my personal collection. Just from growing up, I have a lot of games for my PS2, my GameCube, my Wii, Wii U, you know, and PS4, etc., Xbox 360. Um, and I thought it would be nice to revisit some of these games. Well, most of them, not all, because some are like uh, sports games or racing games, and I didn't think those would be fun to play on here. Um, but I would like to revisit a lot of my old games and replay them because some of them I've played and beaten, some of them I played never finished, and then some I can't even, I can't even remember, um, playing them to begin with. So I thought that would be fun. And of course, then there are games I've never played before, like Yakuza 0. Um, so... With Until Dawn, uh, I have played this once, but there are so many different types of endings you can get in like different scenarios. It is nice to play it more than once just to get different experiences. So for those who have never heard of Until Dawn, seen a playthrough, played it themselves, um, I don't want to give too much away because the beginning does move kind of fast. For a big chunk of the story. Um, all you need to know is there are eight teenagers, uh, young adults, I like to say, because they're not, they're like right at the age, right at that age, they're like 18, 19 to 20. Um, eight of them are on this mountain um, in a cabin. The There's three siblings, Hannah, Beth, and Josh Washington, their parents own this mountain and own the cabin they are staying at for this weekend. Um, and obviously their friends and them are at the cabin to have fun for the weekend. Like I guess teenagers do. I never did that, but whatever. That's the basic knowledge of the game. I don't want to give anything else away, but it's basically... These teenagers isolated on a mountain. It's a horror game. So what do you think is going to happen? Yeah, so uh, I guess we should get started. I don't think there's anything else I wanted to talk about. So, yeah.
deserves it. And it's not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. <sighs> just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Okay, so that was an interesting opening. Um, it seems that a couple of the friends are going to pull a prank on um, Hannah, which is not good. Uh, this is Beth. She's actually my favorite character of the game. I love the way she looks, and I like her personality. Yeah, so she is my favorite. Um, okay, so we have two passed out kids here. I think this is one of them. I think this is Chris because Josh is on the other side. Beth, Hannah, and Josh are all siblings. Like I said, Beth and Hannah are twins um, and Josh is their older brother. Use the right stick to look around objects that glint. That glint? Is that? Oh, okay. Okay, what is this? Press and hold R2 to pick up the bottle. Hold R2 and use the right stick to inspect objects. Okay. Can I do anything with that? No? Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us oh. all. Oh, okay. So he's just passed out from drinking. Um, I've never really looked around here, so we could do that. Because, uh... I don't know if anyone knows. I like to 100% complete things, even though I never do. I like to make an effort. Um, I don't know. That's just, I feel like I'm not getting the full game if I don't try to at least 100% complete everything. Oh, what's this? Hello? I saw it. Oh, what is this? A door. Cool. Whoa, wait a minute. Okay, no. I was like, whoa. Alright, let's see. Oh, no. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike XXX. Well, that's not good. Oh my God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? I got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Hannah ran outside. Can I move, please? Oh. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! 
What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Okay, here we go. Quick time events. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, fast, safe. Let's go safe. noise. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Hmm. We're gonna do shadow. <laughs> Okay, so we can direct the light beam using our right stick and we can move. Okay, um, as you can see there are different options you can choose depending on what you feel you want to do, you know. Um, it didn't show up for some reason right away, that's why I was wondering why Beth couldn't move. But you can either wake up Josh or you could just go find the others. Um, and stuff like that has effects on how the game uh, is played out, if that makes sense. But uh, yeah, so far, uh, not really liking the friends. They're pretty much jerks. I mean, Hannah and her siblings invited them up here for the weekend, and then they pull that type of shit, you know, some friends. I'm also keeping my eye out for uh, collectibles. A lot of them are called totems um, in this game. You'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, Jesus. Okay, L1 is to walk faster. That's, that's nice. Hello? Hello? Oh, see, here we go. Mmm, we got a death totem. Let's see what that is. Okay, it's our first totem of the game. Uh, totem prophecies, black is death, the possible death of the person who finds it. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Okay, so let's view this again. Okay. It seems like, uh, someone dies. <laughs> uh, specifically, uh, that looked like Hannah and Beth. So, that's not very good because uh, no one wants to die. But with this playthrough, like I said, I want everyone to die. So, uh, you know, we're going to try to make those come true. Oh 
my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Anna, Beth? What to choose? Begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up cards? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. All right. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Okay. Um, not gonna lie, I feel uneasy. Okay. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Uh, definitely not the scarecrow. If it is something you can't see, then why does it make you feel uneasy? No, I saw it. Is there something in the house? Nope. So, if it's not in the house, then where do you think it is? Can it be in the field? <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Left-hand corner. You see, and is this threat human or is there some other fear that you have that you would like to talk to me about? Uh... I don't think it's human. An inhuman threat. That's fascinating. Oh, well. 
Perhaps we can explore your fears a bit further in our next session, I'm afraid. We've run out of time. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you, and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters, and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> 